What do you do when you want to ask the guy you like if he wants kids without having him run a million miles? How do you break up with a guy without hurting his feelings? And what on earth do you do with unsolicited dick pics? Hey guys, it's Mark here from Make Him Yours. Thank you for coming on here again and supporting the channel. Make sure you subscribe. This is the weekly thing where I do where I answer your questions and it's really, really cool. So make sure you subscribe, get on board, hit the little bell, uh, hit the like button on the video as well and we'll get straight into the questions today. So the first one is from Katie. Katie and Katie, you've got, you put some good stuff on this channel, Katie. I like your questions. Hey Mark, uh, I'm not a single mum. This was on the single mum video. I think it's a great idea to make videos about this topic. Thank you, Katie. I'm also wondering if you could give me some advice on how to talk with a guy about topics like marriage and kids, uh, just to know his general views on the subject. If he would ever like to have family, kids and a wife and how to do it in a way where he will not be scared and not in a way where he will think I'm trying to marry him tomorrow because I wouldn't like to fall deeply in love with someone who would never like to have a family. I would like to talk about these things without making him think of himself as the father of my kids. Yeah, very cool, Katie. Is it just part of getting to know someone and I would like to talk about it as about other things, but I'm afraid that raising the subject of kids in marriage in any way will make a man disappear. This is a really good question, Katie. And this question, and in fact, all the questions today actually have their own videos coming out pretty soon. So we've got some really detailed videos coming out on these. So keep an eye out for those guys. But I want to give you some quick tips that you can use right now. So Katie, the first one is you've got to ask from a place of curiosity. If you come at a guy from a place of curiosity, he's going to realize that you're just being curious about him and you're not like crazy sold on him. Whereas if you come at him like, so do you see yourself getting married and having kids one day? Then he's probably going to run a million miles and rightly so. But if you come from a place of curiosity where you might say, so are you the uh, marriage type or the rugged bachelor forever type? He's going to know that you're just being curious and you're just finding out his values and his personality. Now, if you're really worried, Katie, there's one thing you can do, and that's literally just ask him the question, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? It's a really interesting question because it does allow him to talk about his values and it allows him to expand on himself, but it also gives you some really strong indicators as to what he sees for his future. So guys, I will have another video out on that really soon on that full topic. I'll expand on it a bit more and give you a lot more detail on that, but that should give you some good stuff for now, Katie. Second question. Oh, Venus. Why most of the guys sending their dick and what to do when it happens? Venus, this is a problem and this is a problem for a lot of you. We've got a rather entertaining video coming out on uh, fuck boys soon. I think you'll enjoy that one a lot guys. But look, basically this, Go, what, what are you trying to achieve from your response? Go back to intent. What's your intent? A lot of the time, if we're honest with ourselves, our intent is to get a bit of an ego kick back. We find this insulting and we go, okay, I'm going to insult him back. Now, if we're honest, that's probably not coming from the best, strongest place within us. So what I have clients do is simply this. Don't respond. Block the number. Forget trying to get like get an ego kick and make this like, uh, you know, sending him a picture of a big black dildo and making this like a weird ego contest. Just show your standards in a high value way. Don't respond, block the number. Done. If you're trying to embarrass the guy, then you know you can send that other stuff, but you have just as powerful effect by just blocking the number. Either way, the guy's gonna realize that if enough women do that to him. He's not going to keep doing that. But this way, it's like we're coming purely from a place of standards and boundaries. This way is like, oh, we're going to get our ego back by doing this. So we're going to like get into this weird ego contest with him, which I don't recommend. So Venus, that should answer your question. But again, I'll have another video on this and just sort of the mindsets behind it out really soon. And the last question comes from Sophia. And Sophia writes, good video, Mark. Uh, I think you're extremely helpful. Thank you, Sophia. I have to ask you, how to break up with my boyfriend without him having hard feelings. I tried to do it a couple of times, but he doesn't seem to take it well. So as a result, we are still together. He has a strong personality and sometimes I'm afraid he might do something against me as a threat to keep me. I really don't know what to do and what words to choose. I really need your help. Thank you. 
Sophia, this is a pretty sort of serious situation and you haven't expanded a lot of details on, you know, how long you've been together or whether you live together and stuff like that. But if you're feeling threatened and potential threats there, then this is getting further and further into toxicity and you really do need to do something, take action and, and get out. It's not fair on you to be staying there when you're not feeling it, but it's also not fair on him. You're doing him a big disservice by essentially leading him on here and thinking that you're into it when you're really not. Essentially, he's being, he's being dragged along and you're both very going to be very unhappy as a result. Now, in terms of how to do it, like I say, I don't know exactly where the logistics are in this situation. I don't know if you guys live together or what the situation is, but you need to have a think about the after time on the breakup. So you want to break up with him the way you would want to be broken up with. Respectfully, honestly, be genuine, be vulnerable. And the odds are that he's probably, especially based on his personality, he's probably going to react to that. But if you don't react back and you don't start an argument, you don't get your ego involved, he's going to be hurt and his ego is going to bite back and going to try and hurt yours. And the temptation will be to bite him back and get into an argument. When you don't bite back, when you just say, look, you can throw, like, I'm not going to argue with you. I've, I've, I've decided what I want to do with this. It really sucks that we're ending, but I think I should just get my things and we should, we should finish this. And even if he's yelling or whatever, you just calmly go about your business and you get out of there, especially if you're worried about him. That's the way you want to handle it. You want to make sure that you don't get into these biffs with him. And think, honestly, Sophia, depending on your situation, really have a good think about your exit plan because if you are worried about your safety, do you want to take a friend along and have a friend waiting outside for you? How will you get your things? Think about that. You want to take all these into consideration and his feelings as well before you go and do it. Just make sure you, you can't take responsibility for his feelings. There's no words I can give you that are going to guarantee he feels great. He's probably not. That's the reality. But he has stuff to deal with. He has a relationship breakup to deal with. And right now you are denying him of that. So let him feel that. Don't drag him along in a relationship that isn't right for you and obviously isn't right for him. Let him feel that. Have your exit plan ready. Take all the safety measures you need and do it. Sophia, I really hope that helps you. And I really hope that helps you out there watching as well if you're struggling uh, through a breakup and don't want to hurt the guy's feelings. There's never a way to guarantee that you can stop someone's feelings being hurt you can do it though in the way that you would want to be broken up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Pop your questions, comments, everything below. More Ask Mark coming up next week. So make sure you get your questions in. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the little bell and the subscribe button below. And don't forget to download your text message guide as well. 12 irresistible text to make him yours from bit.ly forward slash capital M, capital H, capital Y, capital T E X T bit.ly forward slash mhytext, links in the description.